Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome, 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 and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below. So as you can see from the title, I'll be eating and rating convenience store food for the next three days or 72 hours. So I'll be trying my best to get three meals from convenience stores um, and uh, rate them. I'll also try to try something new each day. Yes, so that's a goal for this um, video. I'm going to try, I'm going to eat convenience store food for three days, rate them, and try at least one new thing each day. I'll be making sure too that I hit all the big three um, convenience stores in Japan, which are Family Mart, 7-Eleven, and Lawson. So the big trees are, once again, Family Mart, 7-Eleven, and Lawson. And at this time, it's lunchtime. I've already filmed the morning portion of my video, but I didn't film an intro. So here I'm, I am filming the intro. So before I get into lunch for day one, the first 24 hours let me roll back to this morning when i grabbed my breakfast from 7-eleven what shall i have for breakfast The bag is secured so i'm back home with my breakfast because it's almost 11 now and these are what i decided to get it's my first time trying everything right here first first time uh i decided to get since it's so late uh this mushroom mayonnaise cheese cheese bread thingy i'm not a Bread for breakfast type of girl, you know, the most bread-ish thing that I'll have is like pancakes. I'm from the Caribbean, I'll eat a whole meal for breakfast. But I'm usually not a bread, like sweet pastries, my friend loves sweet pastries for breakfast, like donuts and stuff. Mm -mm, I'm not that type of girl. But I decided to go with this today. Um, yeah, And this was 203 yen. Maybe about $1.40 US. I put the price right there and then this is something that I'm trying also for the first time mango pudding yeah pudding is not breakfast food but it's already pretty late this is brunch ish and also I got caramel latte I've had caramel latte before but not from 7-eleven I bought I just started drinking it about a month ago I just decided to try it from um, Lawson and I've been loving it but this morning I'm gonna try this one for the first time from 7-eleven i wanted actually to get hot coffee even though it's extremely hot outside my ac is blazing and my fan is on so i'd be good but the thing is i walked to the 7-eleven and it would be ex it would have been extremely uncomfortable walking back with the co hot coffee in my hand and it's so hot outside um so i decided to get this instead yeah i know I'm gonna heat this up and try everything and then rate it for you. Well, I am back. I heated this for about a minute and a half in the toaster. And um, I forgot to mention the price for this. I think it was 188. I don't know where I put the receipt. It's either 188 or 181 yen. And this is 248 yen, which is a total of six. 39 if i'm using 188 for this which is at today's rate uh four dollars 15 us so breakfast four dollars 15 and i have this 
thing that looks like pizza <laughs> latte and mango pudding so first let's just try i'm just gonna try everything now and rate it i'll rate them Alright, so I've tasted everything and it was extremely weird for me because I don't eat like this. When I eat, I eat one thing at a time. I eat this, then this. That's the order I'm gonna go. So you can see I barely tasted it. Then last, this. I hate mixing food. I don't drink and eat. So that was very awkward for me. <laughs> yeah, even when I go to McDonald's, I eat all the fries, then the burger, then I wait a few minutes, then I have my coffee. It's always like that I hate mixing food unless you know you have dumpling yam potato and stuff on the same plate and you're eating with gravy that's the only time i mix food but all right let's go to the ratings i am going to rate this uh seven and a half out of ten mm -hmm. the bread tastes a little doughy like it, it could have been like in the oven a little longer the flavor here, the flavor is here though. The mushroom almost tastes like beef. I don't know if where you are they sell beef um, pizza, but it's very popular here, beef pizza at Domino's. Um, and the beef is shredded just like the mushroom. So it kind of tastes like the beef pizza. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. Flavor is good, but the dough is like, I think it could have been baked a little more this mango pudding 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 mango things here are seasonal so whenever i see mango things i like to try the other day they had this mango smoothie it's no longer around but this is the mango flavor is there it's not just flavoring because these are actual chunks of mango chunks so this is really really good the latte i prefer the one at lawson because it has more caramel <laughs> this is good but it has less caramel it tastes almost just like a plain latte there's a hint of caramel but it's not very strong uh i think i'll give it an eight out of ten but anywho that's my rating for right now i'm gonna eat my breakfast in the regular order finish eating it in the regular order and i will see you for lunch bye so now that breakfast is over with let's head into family mart to grab some lunch i'm trying to get something light since i had breakfast so late so yeah come on let's go
back with my lunch and I'm gonna be eating in the car today because like I'm running some errands after this and for lunch I <laughs> I got this thing I don't know soy meat and kale very interesting I have never in my life tried this yeah soy meat and kale and it was 398 yen very interesting I, I think since I've um, I've been in Japan, which is over four years. I've only eaten soy meat two times, and I bought the pre the package, the packed one. You know what I'm talking? The pre-packaged one that just needs heating. I've never actually had it in a wrap, and I can count on my fingers how many times in my life I think I've eaten kale. So this should be interesting. And for drinks, I bought this. <laughs> it's so small. Vitamin. I think it's it has vitamins um, and stuff because I'm really not feeling well. So this has 2.4 milligrams of B2. It has 4.9 milligrams of B6. It has niacin. Oh, that's what I cut. That's what I'm reading. I might be wrong. I'm not very good at Japanese. 12 milligrams and it has vitamin C 220 I don't know. it's all in Japanese so. so anywho let's taste test these and I'm just gonna go ahead and read this from now I give it a whopping 9 out of 10 because it makes me feel good uh, I would have given it a 10 out of 10 but to me it's a lot it's a carbonated drink so it's basically soda with vitamins but maybe I should give it a 10 out of 10 because for me it gives me the same pleasurable experience as when I'm drinking a soda because I do enjoy drinking sodas I just avoid it because it's not really good for us so yeah I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it just it gives me that experience of drinking a soda and it's supposed to good for me oh shit I didn't open this properly let me get some sanitizer on my hand first I always, I always have alcohol in my car the pump bottle all right so let's taste this all right so that was interesting it's extremely green as you can see it tastes green it does have a taco flavor you can definitely tell that it's not real meat unlike the, the, the mushroom this morning from the breakfast thing it tasted more like meat than this soy meat so you can definitely tell that it's not meat but it has that you know kind of tastes like meat and then there's like some sort of taco seasoning yeah but i'm going to rate this a uh, 7 out of 10 is of course it does say soy meat and kale so I, of course i have to expect that but mm, final rating seven and a half out of ten i could definitely eat this again it has a lot of green though and i think that it will be good for my digestive system but anywho um the total for these two were 518 yen i will put a conversion here yeah i'll put a conversion somewhere here so 518 yen all right see you guys for tonight's dinner so i'm back home with tonight's meal and tonight i'm going kind of simple ish again and tonight i'm having inari sushi there's no fish in here if you don't know inari sushi it's literally just a tofu skin and rice i actually really love this i've had it many times and it's what i was feeling for tonight that i was up for trying something new so um inari sushi and uh oh inari sushi which is rice just rice and sweet tofu skin and the thing fell on the floor and the cost of this was 258 yen i also have two yakiniko 
So this is chicken thighs, grilled chicken thighs um, with soy sauce. I've had it before too, and I actually like it. I think one of them was 100. I don't, I do, I keep throwing away my receipts or I left it at the counter because you have the option to drop it there. I think I left it there again. Yes, yeah, so I'm having two of these, so. And the vinegar the rice ball. So let's do the taste test. Alright, so I went ahead and I tried it and as I mentioned, I've eaten these before. I'm going to rate them a 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, the sushi has um, tofu. That's tofu on the outside and rice on the inside. The tofu is very sweet and um, it comes with a side of pickled ginger. I absolutely love pickled ginger. Japan has a lot. Japan has a lot of pickled food that I love. Yeah, and the um grilled chicken thigh, I absolutely love it. Ten out of ten. As I mentioned earlier, I lost the receipt. I remember the total was five hundred and thirty something yen. I think. I think it was 530 something yen, but it's no more than a 550 yen for both of these. Um, that's the two grilled chicken thingies, chicken thighs, and uh, the Inari sushi. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish eating this and I'll see you tomorrow for my next rating. Tomorrow I'll try to hit up Lawson. See you. So this morning, I'm going to try to get something from Lost. The latte that I was telling you guys about. I tried the honey one, but I don't like it. Mm. I'm gonna try bread with salted fried noodles. Come to Japan. <laughs> bread and noodles, bread, corn, and mayonnaise bread. Shall I? Butter and egg French toast. I changed my mind even though it's hot and getting the hot latte. I need the hot thing in my body. So I am out and I decided to get cream puff and coffee. I was eating the cream puff and that's why I went for the hot coffee even though it's extremely 
hot outside. The AC is on. I'm going to die. And I want something warm in my body. So the cream puff was 138 yen. The coffee, 260 yen. The total, 398. So I'm assuming that's about $2 US, but I'll put the conversion in. Here, I should have converted it before I started recording. Anyway, let's try the cream puff. I have the one with the. No, I'm thinking now that I shouldn't have bought this. <laughs> Creamy things usually give me a tummy ache. Things with like this kind of cream. By the Angel Cream, I think it has. I've had a cream puff here, but it was with. Um, what's that thing called? That yellow thing. Um, I can't remember. I kind of yellow cream. Um, instead of this. Well, let me try it. Cause every time I buy donuts, the white cream gives me a tummy ache. All right, so it's rating time. I'm gonna rate this. A 8 out of 10. It's a little too sweet, but it is good and I'm pretty sure it's going to give me a ten tummy ache. The coffee, I'm going to give it an 8 too. I always will stand on this 7-Eleven coffee is better, tastes better. It is just that it is a little more expensive and the cup is smaller. Also, Lawson changed the coffee that I had, but I still prefer 7-Eleven. And now they have the option of um, mild weak or strong i'm always eating strong because like i'm a coffee girly but i still prefer um seven and level coffee anywho i will see you lunchtime bye today i'm gonna try to get one of those smoothies that was going viral about a year ago that i've always wanted to try but like <laughs> and here they are so, oh, which flavor? There's mango, mango pineapple. Is it mango pineapple? It says mango pine. Hi. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Coco, coco. So you scan the barcode. Why is it half? Hmm? Why is it half? Only half cup. Why? Why only half cup? Whew, I'm back home with my smoothie. Not me going into the people and please start making the smoothie without paying for it. <laughs> Lord, when you're tired. Anywho, I'm giving this a 7 out of 10 because I can taste the pineapple way more. Than, it doesn't even taste like there, there, there's any mango in here. And it's labeled mango 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 i don't see pineapple written anywhere though so i only saw the picture of the pineapple on the top and it written kata, katakana was it katakana i don't remember but anyway it's only half it came like about here a little bit past this because i barely sipped it and it's mainly pine so i'm giving it seven i was looking forward to a mango we taste but i can't taste the mango at all but it's not bad Oh, and this was 300 yen. And again, I will put the US dollars, the equivalent, right here on the screen. I right. got me myself a caramel latte from Lawson. And this was 188 yen. And I've had it before, so I'm just going to go ahead and rate it. I think it's a 9 out of 10. The coffee could be a little stronger, but the flavor is really good. Yeah. See you for dinner. Let's see if I can get some dinner at 
Family Mart. Family Mart. <laughs> Family Mart. guys so i'm here with tonight's dinner yes 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 i'm here with tonight's dinner and i have okonomiyaki okonomiyaki it's um actually vegetable egg and noodle okonomiyaki so i'm very very excited to eat this i've only had i've been here what four years and i've only had okonomiyaki twice why because it's very hard to find okonomiyaki or maybe i'm not looking hard enough without meat yeah that's the reason so i had it in osaka osaka yes first and i i loved it it was great it was vegetable okonomiyaki and it was great and since then i had it once i think it was in chiba city it was also vegetable but all the time when i see it like in the supermarket and stuff it's like with pork and stuff and i don't eat pork and some other meat meat okonomiyaki anything that i see the word meat written on i'm just assuming it's a mixture of pork beef chicken it can be two of those or all three um i don't know if, if you've ever been to japan or if you live in japan you note you might have noticed that um a lot of things are labeled meat or niku uh, which is just usually not always usually mixed meat japanese people love to put beef chicken and other and pork together in a patty or something and it's just like oh so yeah if you plan to visit japan if you're not already here and you plan to visit or you plan to move here and you have diet dietary restrictions or you have an allergy please be careful because they love to mix things i can't forget the first time i ordered a hotomoto and <laughs> i ordered a it was salmon i think or was it tuna it was either it was fish i ordered a fish meal and the piece of fish that was in the meal was about this there was also i think squid there was pork there was chicken but the smallest thing meat in the, in the thing was the fish that i ordered it was like yeah so you have to be very careful look at it hope it tastes good i'm very wary of things that have ketchup plastered all over it because i like to put ketchup in sauces but i'm not the biggest fan of just eating ketchup on anything so as i mentioned this was 370 yen which is i just did the conversion um uh, $3.60 US and I also got a pudding and the pudding is uh, 190 yen and that's $1.24 US and the total was $6.60 so the total meal here is $4.29 US yeah why am I showing you this anyways this is what the okonomiyaki looks like let me move the plastic these people love plastic look at it and it's vegetable and egg Alrighty, so let's taste it i hope it tastes good because like <sighs> let's taste Before I taste test the pudding, let me just rate this. I'm I'm honestly gonna give it a six out of ten. That's because it, like it doesn't have much flavor. Right now, the most flavorful thing on it maybe it's the sauce and the bonita flakes. Bonita flakes, yeah. 
so it doesn't have a lot of flavor the cabbage i don't mind cabbage and un unseasoned cabbage to be honest so you can see it's very plain but i don't know i think it, if it had a little bit more salt or a little salt and pepper but i don't know if i would buy it again this specific one because i definitely eat ukonomiyaki again but it's not very flavorful and i think the noodles are overcooked a little slightly let me taste it again mm -mm. noodles are fine the combination of flavors aren't com it's not combining together anywho let me go ahead and taste the pudding and then put it in the fridge because i'm gonna eat it later oh when i came to japan early days like the first week or so i saw these pudding i'm gonna try and I actually didn't like it at all. So I didn't eat, buy it again. I didn't eat it again. Because then it was very so soft and stuff. But the other day, um, they gave me at school. And I actually, I don't know if my my um, taste buds have changed or, you know. But no, I actually really like pudding. So let me test this one. I don't know if I've had this one before. Hmm. I like it, even though it's soft. I don't know what this is, and I, I plan that one day I'm gonna try and learn how to make it because I actually really like it now. Mm. I'm gonna give this nine out of ten. I don't know why not ten, but it's nine out of ten. I really like this thing down here. It has like a slight molasses taste. But it blends really well with the top of the pudding. Mm. And remember this morning when I said I could not remember what was in the in the cream puff? Custard. Custard. The yellow thing. Custard. Mm. Alright. So that is it. Those are my ratings for tonight. I will see you for the last 24 hours tomorrow. I'm going to finish eating my okonomiyaki. And I'll see you tomorrow. and lunch at the same time I got stuff to do I can't make two trips today hey guys so I'm here with this morning's breakfast and this morning I'm having chicken cutlet with sauce I've had these sandwiches before but it's the first time I'm trying this one first first time um i've had the one with the teriyaki sauce the chicken and i have one have had the fruit one which is technically dessert the fruit and the cream and i've had one with cheese and lettuce or something yeah but this is the first time i'm having this one i'm hoping that this that you see here it's not some different type of meat because last night after i finished recording it, the um the video that part dinner and i was eating i was continuing eating i realized that there was meat in the okonomiyaki and that was not chicken and that was not beef i'm 100 percent sure after i chew it was very fatty and it resembled um pork belly that's what it looked like to me pork belly and i'm like the thing says i should have checked for the kanji for um pork you know but it clearly said um vegetable and egg so i'm like why would there be pieces of pork belly in this i was so turned off so i'm changing my rating <laughs> from whatever it was i think it was six to four but anywho this sandwich is or was for 410 410 yen 
and I'm hoping it's only chicken with sauce, whatever sauce that may be. Um, for so I'm having this with coffee, and people look at me crazy whenever I buy coffee because it's so it's hot. When I buy hot co coffee, it's extremely hot outside, and the coffee was two hundred and sixty yen. So four ten plus two sixty, that's six hundred and seventy, right? Six seventy. The total cost for breakfast and lunch was twelve hundred and seventy nine yen, um, and the conversion for today's rate is eight dollars thirty. So eight dollars thirty US for breakfast and lunch. I'm just clarifying that. Lunch alone is about four dollars US. Um, breakfast alone is about four dollars US. Sorry. But yeah, I'm hoping that this is only chicken because I would be like so upset. Because last night I had to stop eating that thing after that because I, the taste and the different texture just turned me off. Anyhow. tastes like just chicken it tastes like only chicken it looks like let me double check <laughs> it's not like i have an allergy or anything i just don't eat certain things you know but so it's kind of like upsetting when you find them in places where where you thought they wouldn't be because i'm not gonna say where they're not supposed to be because who am I to say that? But <laughs> yeah. So this sandwich, I'm gonna give it a s eight, eight and a half. It's it's alright. I would eat it again, definitely. But it just, it's, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know exactly why to say I can't give it more than I eat. It is the highest. Let me see where. Yeah, it's just all right. I'll give it an eight. It is very high. Yeah. But anyhow, I don't even have to taste this coffee to rate it. But let me just taste it. <laughs> I don't like to drink and eat. Everyone knows that. Good. No, it's it's um cafe latte. I'm always buying cafe latte because I can make black coffee at home. So. I don't see the point. A lot of people buy black coffee from 7-Eleven. It's not like it's very cheap. So I'm like, why? You can just pour some hot water and some coffee. I guess maybe because the coffee there is like roasted. You would want that flavor because you know it's roasted coffee is better than instant coffee. My battery is dying. Yeah. So that's why I have I like roasting coffee too. Because like even though I can buy um not roasting because I don't roast coffee. I haven't roasted coffee in years. Yes, I can roast coffee. Um, my grandma used to do it when um, I was growing up. So I do know how to roast and make coffee. Call it the, the beans and stuff. But anyway, we're not getting into that. It's not a story time kind of vlog. Yeah. So I'm going to rate that nine and a half. I think they changed the coffee. I think they changed the beans that they were using. I don't know where this bean is coming from, but it's not blue mountain i don't think it doesn't taste like blue mountain coffee again because they had blue mountain i'm um, jamaican blue mountain coffee the other day it's still pretty good um it's pretty good and i would still rate jamaican blue mountain coffee nine and a half <laughs> why am i not giving anything 10 but anywho i will see you later for lunch i just put it in the fridge and i will stay there until it's lunchtime ciao so it's late lunch time, it's like 4 o'clock <laughs> and this is what I'm having for lunch. It's vegetables, chicken and spicy yuzu dressing. So this is a salad. So it seems like mainly cabbage. I'm hoping that the, the the chicken looks extremely white. I hope it has a little flavor. I know they use the dressing because I've had the user dressing before, but I've never had this. 
said it before i've always had it on um spaghetti from 7-eleven but that was the thing i actually wanted to eat but they don't have it so um this is the closest thing um why did i bring the tray <laughs> this is the closest thing so the user dressing let me try it without the dressing first so the user dressing is like tangy lemony with a hint of sweet so as you can see a small piece of egg is in here a small piece of tomato some cucumbers and um some shredded chicken the chicken looks oh, where's the chopstick it looks white but you know, i don't even think salt was added to this chicken no flavor no flavor Maybe a little bit of salt, but nothing else. All right, let me put some of the user dressing on it. I know this will bring out the flavor because as I said, it has like um, the lemon, but the chicken is, is extremely dry too because it's a chicken breast. Other than the chicken being extremely dry, it seems like it's boiled chicken breast to be honest. Um, it's alright. It's a salad, like a cabbage-based salad. My jaw looks white. <laughs> Why? My face looks white. Anyways, it's a um salad. Yes, cabbage-based salad. So it is what it is. It's not great. It's just okay. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. And for a drink, I got this strawberry yogurt drink. I've had this before, so I know exactly what it tastes like. It has like real pieces of strawberries inside and it's just yogurt drink. What's wrong with that TV? I didn't play anything anyways. It's good. Yeah. It's good and it doesn't have a lot of calories, 130 calories. I didn't turn on that TV, but anyways. YouTube have a thing where it refreshes. Let's not get into that. So, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my salad. To be honest, I don't know if I can eat dinner tonight, but I'll grab something small just for you. See you later. So many different types of meat.
<laughs> yes, I think I'm gonna get this dry looking chicken because like everything else is a whole other mixture of the only other things I eat thing I eat is that. And it's too small. Hey, so tonight's the last night of eating from Japanese convenience store and tonight I tried to go a little bit special. I ordered dessert and a drink <laughs> three things so um and to be honest i usually don't have juice with my food but i've been buying juice and smoothies i usually have juice once in a while by itself but here i am for the video <laughs> so tonight's total was 920 yen this was a hundred and oh my gosh i just wrote on the price 160 some 60 something yen this is 160 yen taiyaki 160 yen custard taiyaki because if you give me a taiyaki with with um what's it called the red bean paste anko i don't like anko and i had i bought um fried chicken which is karage plain rice with some um Sesame, black sesame seeds sprinkled on it and this that you're seeing is not vegetable i don't know what is the japanese obsession of putting plastic in food but anyway it's plastic it's not edible and then there's i think it's pickled radish or pickled ginger i was holding holding the food upside down so that's why it's scattered all over the place so i think it's pickled radish all right so i'm not gonna eat all of this tonight I'm just gonna eat some of the rice and maybe two pieces of the karage because I'm not that hungry. But I'm definitely eating all of the taiyaki because I actually do like taiyaki. Especially the first one, but. And then this is the thing that I'm trying for the first time. And it has alcohol. It has 3% alcohol. And as you can see, it says summer 2020. I think it's a fruit punch alcohol milk mix. It says Hawaiian. Oh yeah, Hawaiian. It's right. The Hawaiian is also written in English, and it says summer twenty twenty four, and I can see mango, apple, pineapple, peach on the front. I hope it is good. So first, let's try the rice. And it's not my first time eating karage bento, so I think I know what this tastes like, or it should taste like already. Why is that bag so loud? And didn't mention but the rice came with this sauce or it's for the meat what I really want it for but I'm not the biggest fan of this sauce um, I don't mind eating Japanese rice plain with nothing on it It's delicious The rice is good yeah, but let me just put a little bit on part of the rice and piece of the karage for the video. So wait. So now it's rating time. I'm giving the rice and karage bento a uh, seven out of ten. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not nothing special. It's just rice and fried chicken with a little sauce, sesame seed, and two little pieces of pickled something. I'm not sure if it's pickled radish, but anyway, yeah, it's okay. But I love Japanese rice. But I'm still gonna give it a seven, seven and a half, seven and a half out of ten. Out of 10 so i'm gonna try the taiyaki and i've eaten this before the only new thing that i'm trying tonight is the summer suntory alcohol fruit punch mix here we go oh 
All right, so rating time. Custard tastes good. Tayaki outer part tastes good. What do you call this outer part? I forgot. The filling, the custard, it has custard filling. But I don't know. I love the Tayaki because it has like a stretchy consistency. It's almost like, it's not like mochi. Definitely not like mochi, but it reminds me. It's a little chewy. That's why I like it. I really like it. Yeah, I prefer the fresh Tayaki. That's ju just baked and you can buy it. But like these pre-packaged ones are not really bad. And I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. All right, let's try this. Ready. This is going right in the fridge when I'm finished. Mmm. Wow. It it is a carbonated drink. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why I wasn't expe expecting that. It tastes really good, but I can't taste the alcohol actually. It's really good. It's not sweet at all. Which I don't mind. If it was sweeter, it would still be good. So the, the lack of sweetness doesn't really like take anything away from it. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 too. All right, so I think this is it for this video. This dinner was 920 yen and I will leave the, the US conversion right here. And at the end of this video, I'll also tally the, the total amount for the three days, what it costs to eat out instead of cooking i usually cook uh, the only reason i'm ending this video too is because like i have a lot doing now i usually cook like most of my meals so this is strange for my body but anywho thank you so much for watching if you're new here it's your first time seeing me and you're here at the end don't forget to go ahead and subscribe like share comment and i'll see you in the next one bye